guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'll be talking about the students and their school fees. So guys, before we move further, please just watch and see how Ukraine looks like because I'm always talking about Ukraine now. From now henceforth, we are talking about Ukraine, students, tourists, and people who are coming to Ukraine and immigration issues. So just stay tuned and make sure you hit the subscription bell and the notification bell so that each time that we upload video of such, you'll be able to watch. for the first time this is solution news network or oh, you call it snet tv okay 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 guys welcome back once more again uh today we'll be talking about some of the challenges that students have been facing when they are coming to ukraine most of them their agents will tell them please can you send your school fees we'll have to deposit your school fees before you come to school because you cannot come here without paying your school fees no 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 that is where they deal with you squarely and so they even take the money they come here they even pay half they keep half and when you, when you come and arrive here the, the, the worst is that you go to school after about two three months school will start saying hey, hey, hey guy you are still owing school fees you have to come and pay your school fees your agent will tell you that your school fees is five thousand whereas your school fees is two thousand your agent will tell you that your school fees is three thousand whereas your school fees is like you know one five so this is how they play the games with you okay Guys, this is, please listen, this is very, very important. Me, I'm talking like somebody who knows what is going on here. I know that many agents who are coming across this video, they will be very, very angry with me, but sometimes it is very, very important. Not even sometimes. It is very, very important to always speak the truth because the truth helps people. And, you know, we are Solution News Network and we always like to bring the solutions to crises that people are facing so long as we get in touch with the information that is right to help people yes that's what we are doing and that's what we we'll keep doing yeah uh, most of the students live cameroon nigeria congo guinea benin in fact the whole of africa and sometimes asia like india pakistan Turkestan, and then they are coming to ukraine and uh, their agents will keep telling them that okay i've looked for a mission Maybe a mission is just like, uh, let's just say a mission letter is just to issue an mission letter, maybe just $10 or $20 to issue a mission letter. Your agent will tell you that your mission letter is $800. Can you imagine? This is how they deal with you. They deal with you, they tell you because you are excited, they will tell you that no, the mission is guaranteed, blah, blah, blah. You know, for you to make your mission to be guaranteed, you have to pay this user so amount of money. And that's when they deal with you squarely. You must not fall a victim to this. First, let me tell you how a mission is being done in Ukraine. When you are an agent, you go to school or you go to school, each school that you want your uh, somebody who's coming in here to come and study uh, to, 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 to have an admission. When you visit the school, first thing the school will tell you is what are the qualifications of the person. First, you have to provide the qualification of that person who is coming here to come and study. When you provide the qualification of that person, that is uh, something like if the person is coming to study like bachelor's degree, they will need to in Cameroon they call it advanced level or equivalent uh, certificate, which is like BAC or baccalaureate, something like that uh, in the first section. Yeah. So these are kind of certificates that they need, and your ordinary level to see your result and transcript too. They need all these things to to confirm that you have acquired a certain level of education that can give you access to the university. The moment they see all those details, they will issue you a mission letter. And then for you now to come now to, to Ukraine, you will need to take those documents that you have, the original documents you have to scan, you print, and then you take and go to the uh, Ministry of Foreign Affairs in your country, and then they will have to legalize it to, to give a guarantee that this is real, so that you can use it at the level of uh, international education. That's how you build your documents and use it to come here. Not like an agent will come and tell you that no, uh, it's like this, you need to pay a certain amount of money for your uh, certificate, uh, for your mission letter, sorry, to be given. No. Your mission letter is based on your qualifications. It's not based on the money that you pay. 
you know, even though Ukraine is sometimes, you know, there's corruption in Ukraine, but not as much as Africa. But as far as education is concerned, they are very strict on education. So you need to be very, very aware of that. Yes, to move further again, where agents also take money from, uh, from their students who are coming from Africa and Asia is, they will tell you your school fees is 6,000, 7,000 when you pay the money take it, they trim it, that's where the benefit. But normally, when they give you an admission letter, you have to process your document and send it to the embassy. When your, your visa is out, you, you are traveling here, you have to have your setting, you have to have your school fees with you. Yes, you have to have your school fees with you. Don't give your school fees to agents. Some of them will come and reach here, they will abandon you, they will never look for you. Oh man, you will suffer. If you arrive at the airport, when you arrive at the airport, when they look at your visa, they look at your admission letter at the airport, bend me you. If you don't have anybody to pick you up, they are going to call somebody from your school. That's a certain. It is not like Africa that, you know, in some countries that they just do things anyhow. No. Everything is in the system. Everything is in the system. I'm telling you, these are facts. Everything is in the system. They will look at your school. They look at your visa, they look at your admission letter, they call your school. Your administrator, somebody must respond from your school. It must respond. No matter the time that you arrive, somebody must respond from your school. That is a simple fact. And then the next day, you have to leave the airport. You go to the school, maybe the, the school hostel, whatsoever. You stay there and then the next day, you go to the school office, you submit your document that the, after the, uh, the the immigration have con confirmed your entry, you have to take your documents to the uh, to, to, to the school and the school now then process, they will then take your uh, present documents, they process you, your your resident, your temporary resident that you'll be using for the first year, most of uh, most of academic courses here, you first of all have to study language maybe six months or one year. So they will then process you that six months or that one year uh, perfect uh, resident. So you use it after that one year now, that is when you are enrolling now to full university. And so, some of these things are things that I'm telling you things that may have passed through. So it is not like somebody is telling me that, somebody is telling me that. So these things are passed through, I've undergo processes and some people deal with me too. That's why I don't want you to be the victim. But my own case was very, very different. If you meet smart people, you have to be smart. Yeah, you have to be smart. It's all about being smart. Yeah, so this is what you have to put in mind. If you are coming to Ukraine, I want to tell you, you have to play very, very smart and make sure that you do your research before coming to Ukraine. If you want to know more about Ukraine and how students are surviving in Ukraine, check the other video that we have, we have done concerning about Ukraine. Okay, stay tuned, stay blessed. I will come back with another video. Just subscribe to this channel so that each time we put a video, you'll be able to watch. Thank you very much. Stay safe and stay blessed.